Hey, this is Matt from Invest Club. Today is Thursday, June 10th, 2021. Yesterday, we saw the markets gap up and test right at that all-time high that was made just a couple days ago. So we tested the significant highs and then ended up selling off the rest of the session, a closing lower on the session. This morning, we are trading fairly quietly as we await some numbers that'll be out a little bit later this morning. But what we uh, are gonna be looking at this morning and discover is what has happened historically when you get a test of recent highs and then you close lower on the session. So let me go ahead and set that up. We'll do all four instruments. The setup's based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Exit is set to the close of regular trading hours, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now, currently, we are trading flat um, at the time of this recording. I don't know if we're gonna end up opening flat, but that's where we're at right now, so that's what I'm gonna use for the test. And to create a flat open, I'm going to say that the open is within 20% of the five-day ATR from the prior day close. So, for example, the S&P five-day ATR right now is about 29 points. So 20% of that would be around six points or so um, today. So I'm going to type in this max size for the percentage of the five-day ATR as 20%. That'll mean uh, that the, the markets are opening fairly close to where they closed at. And then next, I'm going to go into the price patterns library. I'm just going to grab one of these from the active today, uh, day after the highest high of the past. I'm going to do 20 days. You can do 10. You can do 50. I'm going to do 20 just because that's going to get you a few more samples in here. Then I'm also going to say that yesterday closed lower. So I'm going to grab that from the active today section as well. Then lastly, I'm going to hop into the indicator section, put us in a bull market environment as we just uh, tested those all-time highs there. So we are in a bullish market environment. Now I can click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time and exiting at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time, when the prior session had the highest high of the past 20 days, but it closed lower on the session. This is followed up by a flat open. And I've defined that flat open as an open that is less than 20% of the five-day ATR away from the prior closing price in a bull market. So historically... We've got 82 samples in the S&P of this pattern dating back to 2003. There's 90 for the NASDAQ, 72 in the Dow, and 77 in the Russell. And the win rates on them just slightly favored. you got the S&P coming in about 59% of them closing above the opening print for that session. The NASDAQ, 59%. The Dow, 56%. And the Russell, more neutral at 52%. The average win for the S&P is larger than the average loss, but that is not the case for the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, which has a larger average loss, as does the Russell with the Dow. They're pretty similar in size. So this, uh, this pattern does not have a real strong edge to it historically. The, the numbers are mildly favored here on the win rates, and the average moves are a little bit mixed. But, you know, I did look at a handful of different things this morning, and I saw similar data to this where there was not um, big, obvious edges standing out to me when I was looking at some of my studies. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.